Good morning everyone. My name is Yashoda Sandika. I'm reading in class 5 and the name of my school is Exodus English School. The topic of my presentation will be about a few sea creatures. First of all, let me talk about the jellyfish. This is a jellyfish and they are a marine invertebrate with no brain, no blood, no bone, and no heart. The jelly-like substance that they are made out of is called mesoglea, but their internal organs and other things are mostly made up of water. A group of jellyfish is called a bloom, and in a bloom of jellyfish there are usually more water than there is there are usually more jellyfish than there is water. In their tendrils there there are many sharp but tiny spines that can penetrate your skin can, can penetrate a predator's skin easily and can cause paralyzation and death. Their species in some species are very small whilst others are very big. And next let me talk about the sea urchin. This is a sea urchin and they are a globular and kinoderm in the class in Canoidia. They have over 1,500 species. Some of their species have very sharp and venomous spines while others have very dull and very large and dull spines. They have Many pincer-like organs and tube feet. Those tube feet help them to walk around. They also have a mouth on the bottom of their body, and they usually eat kelp. Their internal, their internal organs, called the uni, is a delicacy in most countries, especially Japan. And they you and they use their mouth. Some sea urchins use their mouth to dig burrows in rocks. They usually made made by extruding sperm and eggs into the water. And next we have the starfish. the starfish. This is a starfish and they are also a marine invertebrate with multiple two feet. They usually have five arms but in other species they have over 35 arms. They are some a lot of their species are invasive species and they mostly feed on shellfish like sea urchins, clams, scallops, etc. Once a starfish gets a hold of its prey, it will pry it open just enough for for their stomach to reach inside and eat their food. They have they like to stick on rocks and weigh and slowly go up to their prey. And next up we have The stonefish. This is the stonefish, and it is the most venomous fish in the world. As their as their venom is a neurotoxin that can paralyze people in under thirty minutes and can cause death in less than an hour. They are very good at camouflaging, as they look exactly like the rocks. Also, even algae grows on their bodies. And. They have thir their 13 spines when touched and screwed a deadly venom. N next of all, next let's talk about the stingray. This is a stingray and they are very good at camouflaging and have a very sharp spine at the base of their tail which is venomous and, can, and if not treated it quick enough, they, it can lead to paralysis and death. They like to burrow in the sand shown here, and when its prey comes up on, when their prey comes above them, they pounce on them and devour their prey. Since their nostrils and mouth are on the bottom of their body, if the prey runs away, the stingray will not know until it looks until it swims back. And next up, we have the octopus. This is an octopus and they are a marine invertebrate that have three hearts. Two of the hearts are used for pumping blood around the body and one heart is used for pumping blood all around, around the gills. They are very good at camouflaging and they can change their skin color to match in with the rocks and also they can change their skin texture to match in to blend in better with the rocks. They are very intelligent and they can solve complex puzzles 
vases, etc. They can even open jars on their own. Due to remembrance, they have multiple suckers on underneath their eight tentacles, which they use to grab on rocks and aquarium glass. They swim very fast through a jet through jet propulsion. They take in water through their mantle and shoot it out through their hook. Shoot it out through their mouth. The mating process of the octopus is very weird as the male gets on top of the female and they start rolling around. After they're done rolling around, the male usually dies as his bones are crushed as, and because the female is a lot bigger than the male. And next up, we have... The seahorse. This is a seahorse and they are one of the most unique creatures as there are only two animals in the world in which the male gives birth. They are most species of seahorse are usually less than a, less than an inch, but other species can get up to one to two feet. They use their tail to stick on plants stick on plants. The the, the female puts her fertilized eggs into the male's pouch and then when the eggs hatch the male gives birth to the eggs here. There are the other animal that the other animal in which the male gives birth is the sea dragon. And last but not least we have the squid. This is the squid and they are very closely related to the octopus as they are both cephalopods. They also have eight tentacles but have two extra arms used for grabbing their prey and those eight tentacles are used for holding their prey. The most most squid species are less than a few, less than one feet but other squid species can get as big as 13 to 14 feet. There are two types of there are two types of squid. The first one don't have hooks on their tentacles and their arms are not that long, but the second one have hooks on their tentacles and their arms are very long because they mostly live on the bottom of the sea. They usually hunt in packs or they usually hunt in packs. They can also change their skin color to match in with rocks, sand, etc. They they also move as move the same way like octopus. Thank you.